All right, people, here we go. As usual, running out of time, and I gotta hurry up with this. We got James in the house. Wanna say what's up to everybody, James? Hello. James just finished busting his ass all day. He just stopped by my house. What time is it? Almost seven? It's like 7 p.m. now, all right? This guy worked from morning till now, and, uh, and that's it. So we're meeting up real quick. James is here, not for an unboxing. I'm like, James, you wanna unbox uh, something with me? Or let's, I, I gotta do, I gotta unbox this shit before I like to put it on video for my records. Uh, I just wanna take everything apart. And then I gotta split, I gotta go uh, elsewhere uh, after here. But the main reason why James is here today on his way home from work is that he's gonna be, I don't know, it's a little bit of a sad day, but listen, I'm not, I'm not using it. I don't see myself using it anytime soon. I did want to use it on a Baja, but man, I, I got, what am I gonna do with all those engines, you know? So, listen, I'm not the type of guy to sell any engine, but he needed a nice engine. I got a nice engine for him, and we're gonna have to say goodbye. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to one, but at least I'm gonna see it, and if he needs help with it, he, he doesn't, he's a mechanic, but if he needed help, I would help him. But, uh, He's Go getting, house. he's getting a, a, a nice engine, a five bolt. Now, here we go. I got, I got a few, a few motors here. Let's see, what we got here. Okay, so this engine I wanted, man, for a future Baja build. It's all set up. It's all set up and ready to go for a 5T. All right. What we got here is a pretty mean, badass, true read case. What we got here is, a, and this is a five bolt head, 904. We got the SEZ engine here. Now, I was gonna remove everything and send this off to my buddy Wade to modify. Um, Wade was gonna do a nice job on this. Wade has done many SEZ engines, pretty badass. Even these the engines bone stock are pretty badass. They rev high, they rev nice, they got good power. And um, they'll outscream a, a 34, a, a 32, you know. But uh, and they, they last. You got five bolt head, you know. But uh, it is what it is. It's gonna go to uh, to James. Um, I really was deciding on putting this on a Baja, making a nice Baja. I was gonna make another Baja, right? All lightweight, lightweight, less, not too much aluminum, le very little aluminum on a on a Baja. And then I was going to have this engine on it. I would have to remove this, save this. This is all good stuff, FID stuff. Not bad. I was going to save all this here for um, my LT there. All right. But now I'm not. So this is going to go directly into his low C5T. And, uh, and that's it. Now, I do have a special header. All right. There's a special header for this. If he wants to run a different pipe, he can run a Bartolo pipe. He can run whatever. He could run a BZM pipe, all right? I don't know if you guys remember. A lot of you guys that are old school like us remember the BZM setup, the, all right? There was a badass BZM pipe. That's the pipe. Oh, yeah, you're trying to find it. They're hard to find. He's going to need this header to run that pipe. So he has it here. This is hard. So many people will, that knew about this that I had it, want, they've been asking me about it over the years. They, they, you know, they, time passes by, they forget about it. And I was so happy when people stopped bothering me over this damn header. Just that header alone. But, uh, yeah, so what else? And he's got, listen, you can put a nice 990 in here, a nice modified uh, 990 if you want. You can do whatever, rooster tail, whatever the hell 990 you want. You can put an 1107. But there's a badass little carburetor here that a lot of you old school guys may remember and know about. Now, this carburetor here I'm about to show you, back in the day, everybody wanted this carburetor to drag race, okay? Before, so, so listen, in time, later on, 990s were doing best for drag racing. So people would take 1107s out and run 990s. For some reason, for drag racing, the 990s felt and worked best. And numbers don't lie. Like, I got a... Shit, soon to be five years old. Bartolone 34 read case in there, all right? This year, it's going to be five years old, that son of a bitch. Um, and I've had modified 1107s. I've had an 1107 there 
uh, from from uh, Chris himself. Listen, yeah, it could work probably badass for bashing, but I still have the 990 back in there. I've tried many carburetors. The fuck, the, the 990 that's in there now does the best times at the track. Okay, so, and not, not just me. There's many guys running 990s on their 34s and 32s. All right, at the, at the race track, all right? Numbers, the track, the tree doesn't lie, okay? Now, for bashing or whatever, I still like 990s, but yeah, you can do up a nice... I have a badass 1107 here, modified by Chris himself. Like I'm saying true modified. I don't want to show it too much because he did a beautiful job here. This is an 1107, people. All right, everything was deleted. You know, the choke was deleted, and the spring was changed. The journal was bored out bigger, and here, here's your... He smoothed the inside out here. See this? All right. You, you guys that are aware and know about 1107s know exactly what you're seeing. I don't, I'm not going to... I don't have time right now to bust out a stock 1107 uh, and then put it together and do this. That's a whole other carburetor video. All right. I do have carbs all over the effing place. Um, yeah. So which one is this real quick? <coughs> Yeah, another day, bro. Just real quick, what is this? Uh, oh shit, eleven oh seven. All right, all right, fuck it. Let's go continue with this. All right, so here's your eleven oh seven, stock one. See, rough inside. You got all these bumps and hills. See that? And here's your modified one that Chris did. I'm sorry, it's in the bag. I'm not gonna take it out. You can see it. All right, and then not only that. Spring was changed, different. Uh, journals were inside, were drilled out. You know, so it's different. All right. Uh, then a bone stock. Damn, James. James tried to attempt to do his own modification. God damn. Oh, shit, bro. Uh, you, it's, all you get, it's all getting back. It's all getting back. <laughs> it's all in the back and getting done. How, how <laughs> what the fuck? James, uh, was that, uh, what was that drink that you had that you got first, that you got a trophy? What was that? What was that drink you had at the uh, in Belmore that that you got you wound up winning, kid? Remember? Oh, that was a habanero. Um, Hab habanero with, uh, margarita. My man, my man. Was that the habanero mod though? Yeah. We gotta call yeah. that mod. Yeah. If yo, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not done with it. I'm <laughs> playing, I'm Holy not shit! All right, so listen. Back to this SEZ and carburetor. So back, back in the day. Oh shit! And this was changed. All right, so. He's getting a nice little carburetor here, people. Now look at this. This is not a 990. It's not an 1107. I don't know if you guys can remember. I know uh, my friend Lou. He loved this carburetor. Now this is the Walbro 771 carb. You see that? 771A. Uh, a lot of people use this some bitch for drag racing. It's got like a little pump here. And that's it. So it's up to you, kid. If you don't use this carb, I, I, I want it back. There you go. All right. It, oh, it also changed. It's got the diaphragms here. I don't know if you remember that uh, when the spiral diaphragm came out, I did a video here with. Oh, with you, got, you remember you that? Yeah, that's the carburetor, the change that we did from that day, from that, that video. The one Arnold? The one Arnold, yeah, correct. Right, yeah. All right. Good. Nice. All right. Uh, those of you that don't know, Arnold is. Uh, KDT, I just watched that the other night. KDT Innovations. I do have a, a video of it. Actually, you can go to DDM, and if you look up the spiral diaphragms, uh, DDM has my video on there. Here's the part number real quick. If you want, listen. My five-year-old uh, Bartolone 34 read case does not have the spiral diaphragm. Uh, I still use the stock gasket from five years ago, people. All right? But if you want the spiral diaphragm, if you're using... Uh, fuels with um, uh, alcohol, uh, you know, with um, ethanol in it or mixes uh, or, you know, different mixes and stuff that you better change it. All right. So this is the stock. It's brand new, never used. That's the stock diaphragm. Mm -hmm. And we, we have the spiral diaphragm here now. All right. So that was the first thing I was going to do tonight. And that's it. You can even run this, try it out on your 32 mm -hmm. if you want. But yeah, guys used to run that back in the day for drag racing. Use that carburetor. Yeah, so we're just saying bye to this. It's gonna go to a good home. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna send this. This is brand new, never used. 
I was gonna send it to Wade to modify for me, but um, that's it. It's gonna keep it bone stock. All right. So, all right. Now, let's let's see what we got here. I just want to say goodbye to this. Uh, let's do some pit dog hydro and let's do some Detroit performance. Damn, bro, I'm just getting a shitload of messages. I'm sorry, I can't get back to everybody, all right? You guys have no idea. I'm involved with so many people right now. I'm helping out a few people. I'm trying to answer a bunch of questions. But uh, it's like once you have over 80 messages, it, 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 it drives me crazy, bro. It, it messes everything up. And I'm, I'm like, oh, shit, I have to get back to Will. Oh, shit, I have to get back to Dave. Oh, shit, I have to get back to Joe. It's like, it, 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 I don't know. I, forget, I lose my mind, bro. I forget. I forget. I can't keep up with everything. And I'm running out of time. All right? So I got to be at a place. So let, let's hurry up with this. And then tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll try to go over my messages. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't get back to everybody like that, okay? Let's see what we got here. Now, let's see. All right. So what we got here is Tom Pit Dog Hydro Parts. All right, now, uh, man, I had this done and I'm not going to even use it. All right, so, <sighs> open this here. All right, so this here was the head cover of the Broven 45. See this here? Was the Broven 45 engine. So, what I was going to do is, I was going to remove the Broven engine out of the LT and put it in my XLT and have the red and black theme going. And here it is. But I'm no longer going to be doing that. I'm just gonna keep that Broven in there now. It looks great, everything's nice, good there. Um, but this here I'll just save for another Broven engine I get in the future and just finish it or put it in one of my Bajas. But I also have another one. Yeah, this, yeah, let's get a closer look. I mean, look at this people, beautiful. Tom, thank you. I know this is, we've had it already over a year now, almost a year, not a year, but Six or eight, seven months ago, he did this. Thank you, Tom. All right. Beautiful. Now, we got goodies for my hybrid build. Let me show you what I'm up to with my hybrid ideas. Let me know if you guys like them or not. I think that's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Now, this is pretty evil looking. Damn. Tom, once again, beautiful. Now, I wish I did this. See, he did everything. I know, I know this could get damaged. All right, but I really should have this done to my, that's my shelf queen up there. My first ever low C5T. It's been through everything. It's old. I've had it since 2007. And it's here now. Look at that. I should have did the bottom, like I, over here, but I never did. I still may one of these days remove this and have them finish it off. Just because, you know, this is the one I need to have minted out. Now, my hybrid, yeah, I can have it really nice, but it doesn't, not to be minted out, but I have to mint it out. <laughs> I mean, look at this, badass kid. Tom, I like this shit. I told him, just go with something evil, because it's going to be evil. I am going to have a badass effing engine on this here. I'm going to have the most powerful RC engine that I've ever had in here. All right? I mean, I've had some... Other engines, but uh, we got a, a, a badass engine that's going to be over here, and it's going to have a pipe almost the same size as, as a real motorcycle in here. It's going to be a pipe bigger than any other RC pipe. Look at this. Beautiful. What's that? Damn. Oh, shit. That's, I mean, that's, that's some ugly-ass, scary-ass looking demons, kid. Look at that shit. This is like skull demon theme. I don't know what the hell. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So here we go, people. Tom, nice job once again. Look at this, people. I got to give it a nice wax coating, a nice silicone spray here so nothing sticks to it. He did a beautiful clear. So he made it nice and durable. Now here, we got all the bumpers. Here's a look at the bumpers, the plastics that's going to be going on my... Outlaw build here. Very cool. Thank you, Tom. Oh, here's the front bumper. 
Now I may throw a bar loan bumper, but Chris has a nice bumper for these, for any 5T, LT. And I may put it on my Outlaw, but, but I like, I'm gonna use this for now. Look at that. Beautiful, what else? Damn, man, look at the skid plate, people. Beautiful. <laughs> Inside and out, huh? Demons, kid. Look at the horns in that son of a bitch. Look at his teeth. <laughs> this guy, this demon here is definitely not an E-word, bro. Look at that. Does that guy drive a, an electric? No. no. Look at that. Somebody with teeth like that does not run no damn E-words, you know? So here's the here's what it's gonna look. Hold it up real quick, like at an angle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be nice in the sun. All right, <coughs> I am aware this is gonna get scratched up, but my uh, I'm, I'm, I'm basically gonna run this most of the time at my place upstate New York in a big field area. It's not gonna be because I. With the engine I'm going to have over here, it's going to be super dangerous. You don't want to be hitting somebody. You can literally take out somebody's leg. All right? So it's going to be a bullet. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, very cool. Now, there are some beautiful aluminum battery cases for your hybrids. I did not go that way. I went with a plastic. Oh, very, very cool, bro. Thank you, Tom, bro. You, you hooked it up pretty nice. I went with a, a plastic one. He did it up very nice. I got my covers to match. All right, this was uh, Losi Plastics uh, and King Motor pl Plastics here. King Motor and Losi Plastics mix. Very cool. And Tom's artwork. Thank you, Tom. All right, so these are gonna be uh, my parts. Uh, that I need for my outlaw build. That was it. That's all I got from Tom Pit Dog. So now I wanted to show you guys what I have here for, from Detroit Performance of all the parts that I have for this outlaw. So some of you guys might be doing an outlaw build and be like, oh shit, what parts am I gonna need to finish this thing? I'm gonna show you. The only thing I don't think I have here is shocks. So I'm, I was waiting for the Roven XLT, you got a knife? It's opening that up. Yeah, open that, open that middle and whatever. So, I was planning on using the Roven XLT rear shocks, four of them, all the way around here. And I was gonna de-anodize the caps. Uh, the reason why is the XLT shocks, they're, they're strong, heavy duty, 10 millimeter shock shafts, they're beasts, okay? But, um, I have to talk to Dan. If Dan has them in stock, I'm gonna get them. If not, I'm just gonna go with the, uh, what's the other ones from the UK? The only problem is that they're too soft. Uh, I have to get a thicker spring and adjust them all the way, especially with this heavy ass engine and pipe. I also wanted the MOD. I was, I was there in person. Uh, I, w I was there, those shocks are badass. Huge, big bores, very nice. Um, but I gotta see if he has them in stock. At the time, he didn't. Otherwise, I would have came home with them, you know. But he didn't have them ready. So right now, I, I can't wait. I gotta do this build. So I Ray from Track Day Hobbies has the ones from the UK in stock. If if he has MODs, I'm getting them. But I need rears all the way all the way around. Uh, the MODs are nice, but the shock shafts aren't the thickness. I wish they were 10 millimeter, but they're still heavy duty and they're big bore. You can put a, a plenty of oil in there. But uh, the Roman ones, man, I'm thinking, uh, that could have been heavy duty. The springs are heavy duty and the shock shafts, I've crashed my XLT many times. There's nothing wrong with them. They never bent. They never, they're, they're strong. Um, but those other shocks are very good too. What the hell is the name of that UK company, man? Innovative RC. Yeah, so I may just get those Innovative RC shocks and then try to get the, the stiffest springs they got for the back or all the way around, all right? But definitely for the back is gonna need the stiffest springs. Even that is not strong enough for the, this engine setup that I'm gonna be doing. 
all right, with the big ass pipe. Like when we do an unboxing of the engine and the pipe, uh, we'll do a pipe comparison. That way you understand this, the difference in sizes and it's a monster of a motor too, all right? Um, so, but right now, let's see what we got here. All right, what we got here, kid? Now, let's give a, a big shout out to John from Detroit Performance and Mike Taylor, okay? Look at this beautiful quality, son, quality, kid. One piece, listen, I have so many people. I just, I had to clean everything up. I have them. I got so many of these around here, all right, from all over. But this is just a work of art piece. So I have to, I have to uh, get it. I don't, I don't need this. I didn't need this. But I had to get it because it's a work of art piece made from Mike Taylor. I appreciate it, kid. Here it is, Innovative RC. So this company, I may get their shocks instead for now. Now, I got their heavy-duty ass uh, outdrive cups, dog bone setup, beasts. All right, this is for a Baja setup. See, this, see the difference, bro? Now, in the future, for, for people that can't afford this or even other brands, other names, I already told you in the last video, Roven has their own, but still, it's a big difference in size. This is Roven's bigger cups and heat treated and very reasonable. And then if you add, if you add these tubes to them, now you're making this even super strong, bro. Like this metal is strong, it's heat treated and everything, but it'll never split on you with this all right so it'll definitely last you it may not last you 100 percent. you may have to change pins these pins may wear out but you're not gonna be busting a freaking outdrive cup if you have that set up you could possibly break in here in the future but i'm telling you this is gonna last you all right now will it last with the engine i'm putting on that sucker i don't know probably not the engine that i'm putting on that mother that 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 guy there is really like motorcycle type shit grade. Do you know, understand? So nothing RC really is gonna put up with with this engine. All right, but I, I, had to, I had to get another level. You know what I'm saying? I got no choice. The engine I'm gonna be putting in there, I have to go with stuff like this. Even these break, but it is what it is. I know what I'm getting myself into. So if you guys are gonna go crazy with something like this, like you can throw a nice, um 50 in here and be badass and have fun with it but you know we're, we're we're doing something crazy we're gonna be putting a nice massive son of a bitch in here you guys stand be look out for that now what else we got so this is what i got i got this is for the fuel tank i need a, a two hole i got some extra fuel line all right here's a fuel tank i got um yeah so and it has a breather I got a breather with mine. It's vented. Okay, super important. There's a grommet for mine. Uh, we got some turnbuckles here. So these are the turnbuckles that I needed to finish this off. I mean, these are beasts. This is like ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this son of a bitch. Yeah, so these turnbuckles are crazy. All right, now. Where, what else? Brake mount. Uh, we got a, a brake mount here for the rear so we still have to finish off this setup so here here see this here we're gonna have to finish this off here's an extra brake mount we're gonna put here um if you have them laying around you, you use them you know any baja brake mount will work i got all right so i have plenty of hubs here but i had to get these hubs because of uh uh this size is smaller all right the ones that i have are bigger they're fatter and it won't fit inside the the newer rims that mike taylor made see all right so like these are tight i don't want to go through that problem again i don't want to drill out these beautiful rims see that so i had to change my hubs out i do have extra hubs but they're uh they're they're, they're too fat so what else we got oh yeah right so the servo plate now we got a beautiful plate here, it's heavy duty, hold my, all right, cool, very cool. Now I have extra ones of these, but I have to have, uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to have as much RC Max, uh, Taylor RC, quality parts from Mike Taylor here. That's, that was my goal, is to have as much Mike Taylor parts on this build. All right, I wanted to have that just separate. Full engine, full 
Mike Taylor build here. That's what I wanted to do. That's my goal. All right, so. All right, so this is that new rear shock tower. All right, so this shock tower I have to have for the engine that I'm putting on here. See the difference? Look at that big butterfly kit. All right, so I'm, I got to take this guy back out and pop this sucker in. All right. That's it. It's a big difference here. Now with this, we should be able to have no issues. I, I believe the reason why for this is the big ass engine with that big pipe that comes out. The header will go fits through here, goes around here. I, I believe that's the reason why. Now, what do we got here? So this is a part that Mike did as well. Look at that, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna be using this chassis brace. What else? Yeah, that another throttle. I I do have, I have uh, these already. I have one here, uh, and I have another one there. But uh, I had to get another one because I need those for another build, and, it's, and you can't go wrong. Plus, if this comes loose on you in the field, if you lose parts or pieces, guess what? I have another one I could take parts off of. All right. Sorry, I don't have a, a part number for this for you guys. Just call up John from Detroit Performance. He'll be more than happy to help you out with that. And what else? Now, you guys know I don't need no more Baja transmissions. But I had to get this one. I had to get this one. And look at that bad boy. Now, this one's fully built, pre-built, to help me save time from John. And uh, this is Mike's. So this has the um, titanium uh, shaft. The titanium shaft. The outside cups um, are on already. And I also have black bone gears in there. Now, I didn't need that. I could have built my own. I have plenty of black bone gears still. Uh, yeah, I got black bone gears here for transmission, see? And I also have black magic. All right, but uh, black bone's much better, especially if you're bashing. All right. But this one here is just done, completed. You can ask John, Detroit Performance. He can do that. Like, if you're in a rush time, uh he does a great job listen I, could, I have plenty of transmissions ready to go but i wanted his mike taylor's uh whole setup in the stand so here it is very cool all right that's it so thank you detroit performance john i appreciate you uh helping me out organizing all these damn parts together and we got some uh Detroit Performance Grease here, huh? What do we got here? Oh, yes, yes. So this is the grease. You guys are aware. I love this grease. It's Team Fast Eddie. Um, this is the grease that's in my transmission, which is super important. You guys want a tacky-ass grease, okay? You want a tacky grease, okay? So shout out to you, John. Thank you, brother. Um, I don't have to go in that transmission, take it apart, clean it out, waste my time. You, you know what I'm saying? He, he did this already. I got tacky grease in there. I'm good to go. Heavy duty shit. So I appreciate that, John. Running late. I, have to, I can't even do nothing down here. I wish I had time right now to start organizing shit, putting things to the side, getting bolts, hardware. I have no hardware. So I, I got to look around and see what I have. I wish I had all stainless hardware, but I may have to mi mix match stuff. Uh, I'll try to find all stainless stuff. If not, I'll try to get some. And um, that's it. James got to go. James, good luck with the engine. Thank you. All right. And uh, take care, people. See you guys soon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you soon.